all right in this video i'm going to make one of the posters from the poster design video i made a few weeks ago and my audio for this part of the video got messed up so i'm re-recording it but all i did was make a rectangle and set the width to 200 and set the height to 250 that's it let's get into it and press t to get the text tool i'll turn snapping off for now and i'll type a word scale this up and actually i'm going to change the font double click and change the font to anton let's scale it down a bit not that much press ctrl d duplicate that bring it down and press t to get the text tool double click right there and change that word to that let's scale that up to about that size is good enough and now i want to just center both of these text objects so with that selected shift click on the black object and center that on the vertical axis and do the same thing right here except that i just want to nudge it to the left a bit now right there is fine so i'll close that out i'll click on this object i'll bring that into my frame I'll raise it up to the top, hold Control and Shift, scale it up to about that size, let's say, and let me just let me just flip it on the horizontal axis. And I'm going to click on this text, duplicate it, remove its fill color, and give it a white stroke. And let's change the stroke size. Let's bring it down all the way to like not even that much i would say like right about that 0 0.7 looks good for me just click on this object now and just reposition it to where you feel is good let me select both of these text objects and re change the position like that okay so now i'll take this object i'll bring that all the way to the top let me flip that like that and actually i don't even want that right here press ctrl z i'll place it right here flip that lower that one step and that right there looks good what i want to do now is i'll click on this object duplicate that scale it down bring that right here and in fact before i even do that i actually want a copy right here as well so let me place that right right about here and i just lower it one step i'll lower it one step if you mess up just press ctrl z and uh, make sure that the positioning of the text is not getting messed up while you do this i'll press ctrl d and duplicate this again and place this right here and i'll press ctrl d duplicate it one more time and place that copy right there and i'll flip this copy on the horizontal axis like that and just play, scale it down tiny bit like that and that right there is pretty much how i want it with this one i want to lower this one step actually no i don't want to lower this one step what i want to do is i'll click on this text object Control d i'll remove its fill color and i'll add a stroke and i'll lower the stroke size change the stroke size to about 0. Point seven okay so what i want to do now is i want to take this object and i only want this part of it to be above the text object so let me make another copy of it press ctrl d to make another copy i don't want the entire thing to be above it i just want this area right here so i'll press b to get the bezier pen i'll click right there and make a box around it around that portion right there i'll click on it right click and release clip and with that white object selected shift click on this object come out path and intersection and then right click or shift click on the image right click set clip and that will give you a look where this part is below the text whereas this part is above the text we can take one more example of that right here if i want this entire area to be above the text not below it as you can see right here so let me press b to get the 
PSG pin and make a bounding box around it like this now make sure this box is all the way on top so make this place is all right right on top of every of the image and now select the image Control D duplicate that right click release clip and then what you want to do is make sure that object is all the way on top of the image select that white object shift click on this object come out to path and intersection and shift click on the image right click and set clip as you can see that part of the image is now above the text so one last thing i want to do before we move on to the final touches is that you can also add a drop shadow if you want to so let me just zoom into this object right click and right click and let me select the image right click and release clip and take that object right there that white object Control D to duplicate that and then shift click on the image right click and set clip and now you have this white object to give that a black fill color click on the image sorry click on, click on this object give that a black fill color lower that one step and give that some blur about that much is fine just lower the opacity maybe increase the blur and there you go you have a drop shadow now and you can just keep adjusting it to whatever you feel makes sense to you so that's how you can add a drop shadow right there and for at this point i just want to add a final touch i'll press t to get the text tool i'll type that word and i'll double click and change the font to mountain signature right there and i want to remove i want to give it a fill color yellow fill color and i want to remove its stroke scale it up raise the opacity and right about there looks decent and one last thing i want to do is just add a gradient to finish the overall design so come over to the fill tab click on the gradient option the radial gradient option and let's add a gradient I'm just going to take this inside stop I press G and I'll click on this inside stop and I'll just give that a yellow color like that and let's just adjust the positioning like that hold control bring this out hold control bring that out and that right there looks pretty good and so that's it for this video thank you for watching